Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you my Gem and the Hologram inspired makeup look. And I was really inspired after buying Sephora's limited edition liquid look set for Gem and the Holograms, so let's get started. Now to start off, I'm just going to color correct my under eye circles. For this, of course, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette and I'm just going to pack this right underneath my eye. In my previous video, I showed you why I did this before my foundation, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. So next, I'm just going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y455. So next, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. So of course, again, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm just going to pack this heavily underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and on my chin. So of course I'm going to go in and contour and I'm just going to use the darker shade because I want to give this more of a glam kind of modern look but still have that 80s vibe to it. Now of course you can skip this step if you want to but I'm just going to go ahead and set my highlight by baking it with the nice powder in banana. Now I primed my lids before I did this, but the eyelid primer that I used gave it a metallic finish. So you definitely want to get one that has more of a subtle finish. So for this, you just want to go ahead and take some hot pink eyeshadow and you just want to brush this all in your crease. Now the next thing you want to do is just block out your lids. Kind of like your create and cut crease, but not really. It's just so that you have, you know, a base down for when we put the bright pink on So the next thing you want to do is you just want to start using a really bright pink. Um, it'd be nice if you use one that has shimmer in it. That way it gives you more of that sparkle, 80s feel glow to it. Now you just want to go ahead and add more of that hot pink into your crease just to define it a little more. And next I'm just going to use my favorite transition color and I'm just going to blend this in the crease just to blend everything out. And next you just want to go in with their face powder and lightly powder the areas that you didn't put powder on and then you just want to brush away all of that extra powder that you were baking with. And again, you just want to go ahead and contour your cheekbones. This is optional, it's only if you want to do it. But again, I just wanted to give this look more of a glam look and something that you can actually wear out. So lately, I've been loving putting cream highlighter on before I put my actual highlight on because it just makes it show up really nice. So you just want to go in with the City Color Cream Highlighter. So next I'm going to use my powder highlight and this is the Naked Illuminator pow powder. I think it's an aura and I'm just going to pack this heavily um, where you highlight basically. Okay, so the cool part, I'm going to go in with my Gem Limited Edition Liquid Lipsticks. I'm going to put this really dark pink one on first and then I'm just going to pack the glitter on top. So what I really didn't show you is that I created a wing, but the wing is definitely optional. You don't have to do it. But this is the completed look. I thought this was fun, kind of 80s, but you can kind of wear out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. So make sure you check out my previous videos. Here are my social media links. Make sure to connect with me. I'm always active and I always respond. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And from one beauty lover to another, see you soon.